I'm going to tell you how to use large language models to do the scraping, web scraping. If you're somebody who has to collect a lot of data from the internet, then if you are used to writing scraper, maybe this video is not going to help you a lot. But if you are like me, who is an amateur scraper, but still you have fun scraping from the internet, then you can use this tutorial to scrape it for you. And we are not going to do it directly asking chat GPT, getting the response back, pasting it in our Visual Studio Code and doing it in just a couple of lines of code. The good news is that this code works completely fine even if you do not have OpenAI API key. So if you want to do with OpenAI, you can obviously do it. But if you are like me, who is like maybe on budget and you've got a decent enough local machine uh, like laptop, then you can do it just using Olama as the backend. I'm going to show you the entire code and also explain a little bit of it. And then we're going to see a live demo of how you can do it. Let's get started with this. First of all, the library that we're going to use is scrape graph AI. Did I say source graph? I'm so sorry. It's another famous company, but this is scrape graph AI. So going back to scrape graph AI, it's, it's, it's like a tongue twister scrape graph AI. Okay, so you only scrape once. So what they have managed to do is they have managed to put together a system where you can just go say it in English, just simply say I want all the articles in this website, or I want all the titles in this website, I want all the, let's say comments in this website. So you say it in English once. So scrape graph AI is a web scraping Python library that uses large language models and direct graph logic to create scraping pipelines for websites, documents, XMLs, just say which information you want to extract, the library will do it for you. So let me quickly show you the demo before we move further so that you believe what you actually hear. So I'm going to go to my Visual Studio code. And uh, I've got a uh, I've got a code here, as you can see here, I'm going to the news dot y combinator dot com, which is very popularly known as YC um, or uh, Hacker News, the front page of internet. In this case, a front page of internet is ready, I guess. Yeah, I'm just saying list me all the articles, it gives me the data, I'm just printing it in pandas data frame. And you can see, in fact, I'm going to quickly show you here, that how similar it is. So if you see here, this is like, it's always TCP no delay, then we have got the launch HN muddy, algebraic data types. And you can even see like some of the comments, I think like has a slightly increased. 144, 142, 10, 10, 55, 51, 80, 76. But you can see that how good the system is. All I had to say was, give me all, give me what did I say? Just list me all the articles and it listed me all the articles along with comments, number of comments. And also what do we see here? Points, the score. And this is possible, like I said, thanks to scrape graph AI. So, I'm going to quickly show you what is happening here. So if you see here, we are using a high level class that is called smarter scraper graph. So we're going to import it from, they have got a lot of things, but in this way, we're going to just see one thing that is smart scraper graph. Now, all you have to do is you have to give either a local file, which means you have used um, one of the existing scraping system in Python and downloaded the HTML. That's one option. So you can give that HTML as the input file, or you can just give a URL from where you want to scrape. Either of this content, you're going to give with a user prompt, and it is going to fetch, collect the information, parse the information, do RAG, Ritual Augmented Generation, generate the answer, give it to you back in a JSON format, which is exactly what is happening. If you see our code, we have got a URL, we have got a user prompt and it gives us a JSON article or JSON answer back. User prompt, local HTML file that you already scraped and got it or the URL, send it to smart scraper graph and you have the answer. And like I said, it has a lot more detail. I'm not going to get into the detail at this point. If you're inter interested in this content, then I'm always happy to spend more time and then create more tutorials. How are we going to do it? There are two requirements for this. The first thing is, of course, you need scrape graph AI Python library. Requirement number two is you need playwright. 
I think they're also planning to implement the same system with Selenium. I saw in a, in a GitHub issue, but right now you need Playwright and Playwright is going to take some time to download. So I think it's about like 150 MB or something. So you need to have that patience for it to download. And then for models, we need Olama to run the model. And we need two kinds of model. One is the large language model model. The second one is an embedding model. So we are going to use Mistral and we are going to use Nomic embed text. So the first thing I would strongly suggest you to install Olama, Olama.ai, install Olama. Once you install Olama, then the first thing is you pull Olama Mistral, then you pull Olama pull Nomic embed text. So your embedding model is ready. Your large language model is ready. After you have these two models ready, and of course, obviously, if you have got Olama installed, then install scrape graph AI. There was some issues, so I had to install the most latest version. But I think by the time you watch this video, you can directly install it from uh, PyPy, which is like you can just do this. But if it doesn't work, just go with this particular version. I'll share the source code with you. Once you have installed that, the next thing is it downloads Playwright, but it doesn't install, so you need to. Uh, it downloads partly how to install Playwright. So you need to install Playwright. Once you install Playwright, as you can see, depending upon your computer, it is going to download Playwright and it is going to install Playwright for you. If you're not familiar with Playwright, it is just more like browser automation, browser em emulation, very similar like Selenium. And uh, then we have got both the models ready. And now all we are going to do is from source graph dot source graph AI dot graphs import smart scraper graph. Now you need to configure the graph. What are the two things? One, you need to configure your LLM. The second, you need to configure your embeddings. LLM model is Ulama Mistral. What is my temperature zero? Because you know, we don't want to hallucinate. We have the format JSON and base URL. This is, this is exactly the end point where Ulama is running your modeling. In fact, you can go here and if you just say, let's say Ulama run, or Olama server, I guess. You can see that it says that, okay, this is already in use because Olama is already running this. So that is something that you need to make sure, not just download model, but you need to serve the model, make the model available. And uh, that's just the first time. And you can see here, the model is already available at this particular URL. Both these models, the LM and embedding. At this point, our graph configuration is done and successful. Next, all you have to do is, you have to create a smart scraper graph you have a prompt and you have the source we are not using the path local path the html one we are using the url from where you want to download it and then you have the graph which is from where you want to like use the configuration from where you want to download so the next thing is run this right now at the there is a bug about async io so just do this particular part which uh, gets you clear of the bug but uh, i think going forward you may not have to do it import nest underscore async io nest underscore async io dot apply then all you have to do is smart underscore scraper underscore graph dot run get the result print the result if you want this is like a small helper one line you can take the result here convert it to a pandas data frame so it is easier for you to see you can pretty much do this with whatever place that you want so whatever place that you like to use you can do that. So I'm going to show you for sample, let's say quick info where you get all the cricket related details. Get me the top latest article. Okay, so I want to just say this, run this. Okay, maybe I have to run from the first, then the second, third, run this. I hope it runs. Let's print the result. When we print the result, we'll most likely see it. I don't know if uh, Reddit actually made it difficult. It is taking a lot more time. Usually when it takes a lot more time, it is something is happening. You can wait and see. And as you can see, the latest content here is, okay, Kohli keeps RCB alive in the playoffs race, uh, PBS, PBKS eliminated and all these kind of thing. Okay. It is still running. This is a very heavy website. As you can see that it has a lot of information. I'm not sure what article it is going to get, but as you can see, it uh, has got something cool and I'm going to convert this into maybe I shouldn't convert this into article because you can see we have got version 1.1 title IPL 2024 McLaren on Rahul needs confidence. Where is this article? 
IPL 2024 Rahul needs confidence okay I don't see that article anywhere that's quite strange so it has downloaded this article but I don't see it on the home page let's just scroll uh, go 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 it has got the images for us who wrote the article all the information and it has got like Rahul confidence Sangakara Samson and all the information because I said give me the top latest article it is giving me one only one article which I can understand I could have said like give me all the articles but the point here is that all it requires is for me to give something in English. I don't need to use OpenAI. If you have OpenAI, of course, this will be probably much faster. Also, as a matter of fact, this works. I've seen a lot of these uh, solutions trying to put together with LLMs. Not necessarily everything works, but this works. Even though it has like bunch of dependencies like Playwright and the other things, it absolutely works. I've like done multiple testing and I'm happy to see that this works. So kudos to the scrape let me get the name right scrape graph ai you only scrape one steam and uh, is this an octopus um deadlifting i'm not sure what does the logo mean but uh, yeah i'm so happy that this exists if you want more tutorials about llms and you know like practical life example let me know in the comment section otherwise see another video happy prompting